Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, Unique World. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I will be showing you how I accomplish glittering wine glasses. And I will be doing a thing Mickey and Minnie Mouse love wine glass. Okay, let's get started. First, what you want to do is you want to make sure that your wine glass is clean. And what I will be doing is using some alcohol and just making sure that the glass is clean from any fingerprints or any type of dust. You can use a cotton ball or any type of paper towel to just make sure that your wine glass is clean. So now I'm just using the masking tape to tape around the area that I do not want to be glittered. Okay, so I have covered my area where I don't want to get any um, glitter. And you guys know that you can actually get this from um, Dollar Tree, just for a dollar. Um, you can also get this Mod Podge at Dollar Tree. Or of course, your normal arts and crafts store, Michaels or Joann's. And at my um, Dollar Tree, they didn't have this one because I wanted to buy some more, but they didn't have this one. But you can use this Mod Podge to apply on your glasses. And, or you can use the dishwasher safe one. Just be mindful with the dishwasher safe Mod Podge. It actually takes 28 days for your cup to be cured, meaning it will settle in and it will permanently not be taken off um, after any type of dishwashing. So I recommend letting whoever you give these glasses to, to make sure that they are careful for 28 days. So it's no problem to give it to them, but you just wanna make sure that you let them know, hey, um, don't use for 28 days but instead of just doing the Mod Podge I will be doing epoxy so that way you can just give it to them and they can use it um, within like 48 48 hours so um, I'm going to be using the Mod Podge dish dish uh, washer safe gloss and I will be using a posse to help cure the wine glasses. So now we're going to use our paintbrush to paint the base of the wine glass using Mod Podge. And you wanna do like a thin, even layer and because you're doing a thin, even layer, you have to be a little quick um, before it actually dries. So you can go ahead and put the glitter on. You have a thin, even layer. So it doesn't dry. And I'm also using a piece of paper up under me so that I can collect the glitter and put it back into the glitter container. All right, so it looks even to me. And what I'm gonna 
just go ahead and use sprinkle fine, extra fine glitter. And you're gonna be doing layers. So if it doesn't catch the glass all the way, that's okay, because we're gonna be putting more on there. Okay, and we're gonna let that one sit for maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And we'll go ahead and do my next one. Another thin layer of the Mod Podge. Fifteen minutes before I apply the second coat of the Mod Podge, and for right now, all the extra glitter that is on the paper, I'm going to pour it back into the container and save for later. going to go ahead and wait 10-15 minutes to do the second coat with the Mod Podge and I'll be back okay so now we're about to do our second layer of Mod Podge and you can do two layers you can do three layers And again, just another coat. Let me just tap it really quick. To get all the excess glitter off. second layer what I'm going to do is do the last much hudge layer before we do the epoxy okay so my epoxy actually spilled in my bag so what we're going to do right now is we're going to pour the same amount of A and the same amount of B inside the cup. And this is going to make the epoxy and it will make the um, glass shine and it will actually seal it. Instead of using the Mod Podge dishwasher to cure for 28 days, I want to be able to use this 48 hours instead. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit of that. And I'm gonna pour B into this, the same amount 
and you gotta do this slowly so that it doesn't create any type of bubbles. And instead of using a brush, I'm gonna actually use my finger. I have on gloves, so I'm actually gonna dip my finger in here to mix it, and I'm going to apply it to the glass. And you gotta do it really slowly. Cause you don't want it to change into a cloudy color. dry too too much you want to take this off as soon as possible and I would say within 10 minutes from doing the epoxy so it'll leave a nice clean line Same for this one. So overnight, I'm just gonna let this dry and then we'll go ahead and put the vinyl on the glass and I'll show you how to do that. But really it's just quick and easy. And I do like to rotate it because sometimes the epoxy um, will drip. So I will probably put place it like this for 10 minutes then I'll place it on top of like something like this you know just rotate it so that none of it's dripping down or dripping on the table but yes I will let you know how it goes tomorrow, the finish touches, and then the vinyl. Here is the image that I will be using to cut on the creek cut. Again, you want to make sure that your wine glass is clean before you apply the vinyl. So the mini mouse part is complete and now I am applying the hearts on the glass.
I'm applying the mizzes to the bottom glitter part of the wine glass. for the love which I will be applying up under Minnie Mouse. I think the hardest part about doing wine glasses is just making sure that you align everything the way you want it to be. Now that Minnie Mouse is complete, I am going to be doing the Mickey Mouse, which everything is kind of flipped in reverse. Now we are done. Here is the mini mouse wine glass. And here is the Mickey Mouse wine glass. Okay, here is the wine glasses together. They are supposed to be basically leaning towards each other for a kiss. And it's basically a double Mrs. and Mr. Uh, Mickey and Minnie Mouse wine glass. I hope you really enjoyed this video and look forward to more videos like this. Please let me know in the comment section what you would like to see next. Um, and thank you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.